learners, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, I'm Roxana. Today's video, I have a Bippity Box for you guys. This is September's Bippity Box. Um, at the time of recording this, it's September 30th. The time it goes up, it's October, which is crazy. Um, which kind of brings me to the next thing I'm going to say. I won't be getting an October box. I'm actually skipping this month's box. Um, and the reason why I'm skipping this month's box is because um, normally by the time um, Bippity signs out their boxes, it's towards the end of the month. And by the time I typically get mine, it's either the last day of their month or it's the day after. Um, and there's a good reason why I am not getting October's box. The reason why I'm not getting October's box is because I'm going to Disney. That is right. I am going to Disney. I never thought I would be saying those words at all this week, year, this week, year. Um, so I will, I am going to Disney. I, and there's a reason why, um, I just won't have time to open a bibbity box for October because my Disney trip literally is um two days after Halloween. So November 2nd through the numbers November 6th. I'm gonna be down at Disney. Um I am meeting a few Disney YouTubers and I am also meeting a special someone down there. Um so to answer any questions no, I won't be vlogging. Um, I There's only like one or two videos that I'm going to be doing and that's about it. Um, but I do plan on taking pictures. So keep an eye on my Instagram. Um, you will still get pictures from me. Just no vlog this time around. Um, I did think about vlogging, but because I am meeting a special someone, it, I want my time focused with them instead of busting out the camera constantly. So anyways, let's move on. Now that you've got the whole spiel of why I'm not getting an October box, um, this is my September box and it came on time. The last few boxes have arrived later um, because of shipping delays. But as you can tell, this box is Halloween themed. You got a bunch of Halloween snacks all over. You got a ghost, Mickey ghost right here. The even the logo um has red has orange, um, green and purple, which is actually the same colors as the cast members Halloween costumes for the um Halloween parties. Um and you got like a pumpkin Mickey, you've got candy corn, which is not my favorite candy, but I'll, there are psychos out there that like candy corn. Gross. Um, and then you've got cake pops, you got boo right here. See, it says boo there. And then you've got uh, candy apples and caramel apples. And just all over the box which is why it looks different than their regular box anyways let's just open this did come in a plastic wrap but i took it off so you guys didn't see me struggle with that all right anyways oh this is the inside this is different so in months past they never really had an envelope in months past hold on let me set this down okay like this so this is cute and then uh this is the spoiler sheet not many spoiler sheets have a design on them this one's kind of plain um and then this is the card that sh tells you who uh, curated your box um a little smile goes a long way. Remember, you're the one who can fill the world with sunshine. And it's got Minnie Mouse and her little green bow right there. Um, and um, Brenda, who is uh, Mama B, 
she she's the one that curated my box for me this month um so thank you so much all right i'm gonna put the spoiler sheet on top and let's kind of dive right in shall we Okay, and, and like always, I'm just going to dive right in and feel what I can grab. Okay, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's another, okay, so this is my second time getting jewelry from Bippity, and it's another Lillian, Lillian and Co. I can't talk, clearly. Okay, ah. Uh. This is way in the little bag. This little, this box was really shoved into this bag. <laughs> okay. And then here, let's see what this is. All right, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Oh my word. So, this thing is from the Carousel Progress. I'm not sure if it, the camera's picking it up or not. Um, anyways, I absolutely love this. Um, Carousel Progress is one of those underrated, underappreciated rides at Disney. Um, and it's, fun fact, it's the only ride at the Magic Kingdom or anywhere on Disney, Disney World property where Walt walked, where Walt worked on it himself um so that's a fun little fact about um carousel progress okay what is this feels fragile okay oh i think i know what this is based on the shape come on oh this is well packed normally i have scissors why didn't i bring my scissors i don't know why Let's get to see me struggle. <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm gonna grab scissors. Got scissors, all right. Okay, I'm gonna set that there. Oh, it's a Wishes Candle Company. I love Wishes Candles. Oh, it's Norway. <laughs> And I've got a few of these, which I haven't burned yet because I still have a few Bath & Body Works candles that are that still need to get burned. They're almost done. But as soon as my Bath & Body Works candles are done, I'm going to be burning my ones for um, wishes. And then this one, Norway. Oh my God. This smells really clean, like really fresh and clean and it's got blue glitter oh <laughs> glitter is flying all over the place um and if you are not familiar with wishes candles companies there they have a free pin comes with come on roxana you can do this Arr! there we go a pin comes with um, every purchase. Every time you purchase a Wishes Candle Company um, candle, a pin comes with um, their candles. It's in this little tin baggie, which um, I haven't clearly I haven't burned any of mine, but I know that because I've seen people um, leave reviews and stuff. Okay, this feels like a clothing item, and oh my, yes it is. Hold on a second. Oh my God, <laughs> this is so cute. It says warm hug served daily. That is so adorable. Now is this a Disney? Yes, it is. Okay, cool, it's my size. I love how it has Olaf on it. I can't wait to wear this. <laughs> 
Oh my word. So, um, I think I am bringing this with me. I cannot wait to wear this. Oh. oh, there's one more item in here, I think. Hold on a second. Oh, there it is. Ah! Oh my God. So this is the princess ice cream blind box that you would, can find at a box launch. Um, and their lounge fly. So I'm just going to open it because it's the only one that was in there. And um, if you know me and you've seen my pin unboxing videos, that's a good thing I've got scissors because normally I can just rip it right after that. Um, normally I would take the blind bag and toss this over my shoulder and then um toss this part over my shoulder as well i call it doing i call it pulling a karen um and if you have no clue who karen is i'm talking about karen from karen's usa adventure she does that a, a lot in her pin unboxing videos anyways oh my word this one's so cute and it's cinderella one That is so adorable. I love it. This is going with my princess pin collection. All right. Um, that's cool. And it's the first one I have. So obviously it's not a duplicate. Um, so you've got Jasmine, Belle, Aura, Ariel, Cinderella, and Snow White in ice cream forms. That's pretty cool. I kind of want to see if I can find the rest of these at my box lunch. Um, I haven't been there, um, fairly recently. It's been a while. <laughs> I can't, I think, take that back. I think it was like a few weeks ago or something that I was at box lunch, but I wasn't there very, very long to kind of check and see their pins. Um, I may have to see if they're online because I can't remember when they got, these got released. Anyways, um, I know people trade the lounge, the Disney lounge fly pins. I personally don't because even though um, they have the copyright Disney on the back, I I feel more I feel a lot more better trading authentic Disney pins that you get from the parks versus these Disney lounge fly pin pins that you get from Box Lunch or Hot Topic. Um, the ones that comes from the Disney pins that come from box lunch or hot topic I put in my personal collection I don't put in my trading collection so that's why you will never see me the only time I trade the um lounge fly the Disney lounge fly pins is online in a Disney pin trading Facebook groups and that's it all right so spoiler sheet Done a lot of rambling. Okay, so um, so <laughs> I love this. So the first thing I see was this a box. Uh, Love Me was curated by Brenda, who is um the mom of the other two girls that uh, run this company. And <laughs> so. Um, let's see if I can. <laughs> they put that as zero dollars. Oh, that I got a good kick. Um, Loungefly at Disney Princess Ice Cream Blind Enamel Pen was ten dollars, which, yeah, typically they are ten. Um, Disney licensed apparel Olaf serves daily, uh, shirt. Uh, Olaf hugs. <laughs> Ola hugs her daily shirt. Um, is twenty four dollars. Um, the Lily and Co. Uh, there's a uh Carousel Prog of Progress. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. That one was thirty two, bringing my grand total to sixty six dollars. 
tongue tied, although that's not unusual for me when I do these <laughs> unboxings. <laughs> oh my word. Um, wait, did it have these on it? They didn't, oh, that's weird. Okay. They didn't include the Wishes Candle Company, which I know these are, these are $19. So I definitely got over my um, value because um, these are $59.99 plus all that. Um, so that's kind of weird that the Wishes Candle Company candle was not included in the packing slip. Anyways, I love this one. This one, this one's definitely more of a springy summer scent. So I may wait to, um, burn this one. Um, the, what is the other one? The other one I have is birthday cake the unbirthday and then the other and then it's um a dull whip inspired candle from them um so what what are the notes in this one okay um let's see okay yeah they have a a tag covering what the notes are in this one anyways if you are new to this channel and you haven't yet click the subscribe button hit the like button um and if you get a bibbity box leave a comment down below on which box you get and um what your favorite items that you've gotten from bibbity are so far and i'll see you lovely disney in my next video bye guys